I'm Lisa Young and I am an objects conservator at the National Air and Space Museum. I'm probably the only person that actually works on spacesuits as a conservator anywhere. The spacesuits are very unique because they're made up of probably about 24 materials. Most of the materials are modern in the sense that they were invented in the 1950s for the space program, such as Velcro, Dacron, Mylar, Teflon, and the materials naturally degrade. They were chosen for a job and then weren't really reflected on how they would last over time. Many of the suits have a lot of components. They have the helmets that go with them, the gloves, the boots, the undergarments, the liquid cooling garment, which was a long underwear apparatus that the astronaut wore under it. The suit on the table is a Russian space suit that um, was used by Dennis Tito in 2003 for a space tourist visit. And these suits were worn, are worn by the Russians back and forth to the space station to just keep them pressurized in the cabin as they come back and forth. The suit is unique in that um, the Russians travel in cradles in a fetal position in their spacecraft, so they're bent. And because of the preservation and not disturbing the materials, we are keeping the knees in a bent position in a cradle-like mount for exhibit. We have a mannequin inserted inside him, a soft mannequin, to hold his form while on display. And we're doing an updated condition report because it's going back into a gallery. It will be there for probably 20 years. And so we want to make sure that the suit is stable and there's no interactions with materials right now and we have to do any treatments. The coolest part of the job is, I think, just getting to touch things that other people don't get to touch. And when you tell people, you know, that you have handled Neil Armstrong's suit or um, worked on a spacesuit that was on the moon, you know, people can really relate to that. And I feel good that I'm preserving part of our history that I don't want to see disappear because we may not get back to the moon and this may be the only 12 suits that exist that were ever on the moon surface.